I had two children of my own, yeah, I used to plan on my own. It was horrible, you know, all the children, the little boy was so terrified, you know, he was like, he was shivering, I thought, no, I can't do it, I can't sit here. And it was scary, I will lie, it was very tall and very overpowering. You know, I've always been, I've always had a hard time growing up in London, you know, I've always had, like, um, uh, uh, abuse held at me, you know, people pulled up my, pulled off my hijab. No way, I mean, were you aware of the news that happened earlier this week in Australia, where a pregnant yeah. sister got... I was actually. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Let's just say worst case scenario. If if you were stabbed at doing what you were doing, would you have any regrets? No, because that's that's what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala written for me. And look, mashallah, yeah. how Allah's honoured you because of your patience and you know because you used your hardship to remove someone else's hardship, and that requires a lot of selflessness. I know, and I sorry, I'm just a bit emotional. <laughs> Allah. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Alright guys, I'm sure you've seen the video that's been going viral of a Muslim woman defending Jewish children and their father from being hurled abuse. Alhamdulillah, I managed to track down the sister and we had a phone interview. Wallahi, the sister blew me away. The longer I started speaking to her, the more she was just giving me gems. Wallahi, she is an amazing, amazing woman. Guys, you cannot miss this interview. Check it out. <laughs> I am mega excited to tell you about our sponsor My Ilm, a Netflix type app for kids that has loads of Islamic cartoons and videos with no dodgy adverts, music and it's overseen by scholars. Yours for a modest $3.99 a month. Mate, it's daylight robbery. Let's crash the app by downloading it like crazy guys, yeah? Asalaamu As Alaikum. So sister, I mean, you, you got loads of interviews lined up. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> You're famous. Oh God, no, I don't want to be fucking lying. Something that I, it wasn't my attention. I didn't know the man was filming, to be honest with you. So it was very surreal, to be honest with you. You know, subhanAllah, you know, everyone has our differences. And I, I didn't even mention it to the abuser. I said to me, if you're a person of the book, that people practice their religion and train you peacefully, you know? I did mention that, but obviously, it, 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 what happened is they filmed it at the beginning, but then afterwards, it, it, they shut the telephone. They stopped, they stopped filming, and the, the man that was filming came in between him and the, the, the man that was the victim. And then obviously it got really heated afterwards, so yeah, it's kind of like that was just the beginning of it really. Oh man, so it actually got worse afterwards. It did, yeah, because he came into my face and he was quite, um, he was shouting in my face and it, uh, I did panic a little bit, but you know, I was just, I was just saying, you know, stuff from my, you know, you know, I was just, I was saying, you know, all sorts of stuff. Oh, you did do us. Of course, you know, I was saying, it was in my head while he was coming up to oh. me, because you know, it's fun, like, you know when you put in that situation, you don't really, you don't realize the impact that you do, that you have, mm. and that like, hey, this person can actually come and, you know, he can attack you. You know what? I have faith in Allah Subhanahu you know, I always know that Allah Subhanahu Taala never left me on my own, so you know. Allah Akbar. That's amazing. But but you know what, sister, when I was looking um, over the footage, the thing that stood out to me the most was as soon as he told the other guy, look, I'm not a pastor, you know, back off. Otherwise, I'm going to lamp you in the face. Yeah. And then he t and then he looked towards you. That's the time you decided to start talking. And I yeah, was like, yeah, exactly. Allah, Akbar, like that's that's probably the worst and riskiest time to start your dialogue. <laughs> but that's when you started. Oh, no, I don't know. My husband is so angry with me. <laughs> I have two children of my own, yeah, it's a pan and It was horrible, you know, all the children. The little boy was so terrified, you know, he was like was shivering. I thought, no, I can't do it. I can't sit here. You know, it's, oh. it's our duty as Muslims, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, so empathy kind of kicked um, in. Alhamdulillah, no, but I was going through the headlines as well. I took a few screenshots and mashallah, I think four of them, Evening Standard, I think Metro, Sky, and um, I think another newspaper, all of them, mashallah, have got the word Muslim in the headline. And Alhamdulillah, uh, sister, this, this it's, yeah, it's amazingly positive. Uh, and especially, and sister, I was also wondering, were you aware of the news that happened earlier this week in Australia where a pregnant yeah. sister got I was actually. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, sister, that's a, what went through your mind because I'm thinking after seeing that go viral and then you're, you know, facing up to this guy who's just threatened somebody else. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, but subhanAllah, and it's just like, um, you know, um, I've, I don't know, I've always been, I've always had a hard time growing up in London. You know, I've always had like, um, 
uh, how abuse held at me. You know, people pulled up my pulled off my hijab. No and way. I mean, during during that time, I mean, when I was going through like that kind of like uh, you know growing up as a teenager, really, because I wore hijab when I was twelve. So um, I grew up as a teenager, especially during that time. There wasn't much awareness of the Islamic community. Uh, for, I was always in. They always used to. Rip, the first thing they used to do was rip my scarf off. That's the first thing they used to do. Well, sister, and, was um, this when you were older, or this was in secondary school? No, then? secondary school. Secondary school. Subhanallah. Uh, and I used to get a lot of like, even like the male, the, 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 you know, the older boys. They used to also kind of like abuse me as well. But alhamdulillah, I think through that experience is what is what has actually made me a strong person. I feel like subhanallah, and I've, I've been through a lot of. I've, I've been through a lot of my life. Love and uh, by the will of Allah, it has um, it's made me much much stronger as a person and, and as a Muslim as well. You know, I think it's upon my Allah doesn't put you through test unless it makes you a better person. And uh, yeah. I would, you know, subhanAllah, my uh, injustice is something I always stand against. Injustice and zulm, and Allah subhanahu wa taala always mentions it in the Quran that in the zulm, Allah subhanahu doesn't allow it on Himself, so He will not allow it on anybody else. Mm. So I've always lived by that kind of motto. Do you understand? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And also, sister, what's also profound is a lot of people have this misconception that Muslims hate Jews per se. Yeah, and, yeah, subhanAllah. And, yeah. and what's very interesting is um, the support that you've received from the Muslim community. I mean, had it been something that was in our scripture that we were encouraged, you probably yeah. wouldn't have received this much support. I mean, how much support have you received from Muslims? I have, you know, and that's 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 what's overwhelming, subhanAllah. I thought, okay, I, I know that I'm gonna get, I'm, I didn't even know I'm gonna get praised for what I did, you know, <laughs> subhanAllah. I don't want, I don't like, I don't like anyone praising me at the end of the day, and it's subhanAllah, and it, I don't want to be like proud or anything, because at the end of the day, I didn't do much. Like, what did I do? Then? I didn't mm. do what a lot of, there's a lot of much more better heroes than I am in this world. But you know, if if it gives that glam of hope for the Muslim community that you know. You know, we stand up to this kind of stuff, and it shows us because I'm always, I'm always a supporter of showing Muslim people in the media a, a good, a good kind of like, um, uh, you know, a, a good, good light, yeah, good picture, yeah, a good picture too, because because it, it's so everything, everyone's so negative. I get so angry, you know, when I see negative comments on this and how people try to, you know, say things and everything like that. It's just really. It's really, it's, it's not nice. It's, it's, mm. So I thought, you know, alhamdulillah, I mean, the reason why I wanted to take these interviews and do all of this is to say, you know what, let's, let's, let's push this forward. Let's give a good, good positive uh, mm. view of who Muslims are and what they, what they truly believe it to be, to be follow Islam, you know? 100%. And you know what, like you said, you, you didn't want to be famous, but just, pr just practicing your religion. <laughs> Uh, as we're encouraged, I mean, we give long lectures, but I mean, practical dawah, just practicing mm. your religion can have such yeah. a profound impact. Subhanallah, yeah, it is, yeah. You know, my mum always used to say to me, there's a hadith uh, of the Prophet when he said, yeah. if you see uh, something, you have to change it physically. Mm. If you can't change it physically, you change it with, with verbally. If you can't change it verbally, you change it with the heart and you dislike it in your heart. And that's the weakness of Iman. And Allah. subhanAllah, we put in this, we put in this, 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 this in a non Muslim country, we have to be an example. But then also, another thing is, is that I want to, you know, we, we live in London, yeah, I, 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 this is my, this is, this is where I was brought up. Mm. This is my country. I don't, I haven't, I mean, I'm, I'm originally from, uh, my, my mum and my dad are from Libya. I mean, I speak Arabic and everything, but um, I've already been there six times. I don't know anywhere else apart from England, do you know what I mean? Yeah. This, this is my home, and I, I want to show them that this is my home, you know, this is, this is my city, you know. Mashallah, sister, just hearing you just say ayats and hadith, it shows how much Islam has permeated your heart. And, <laughs> and in turn, sister, it, it, it permeated uh, kind of the, um, your reaction. Because a lot of people, they, they kind of separate the two. But for us, and to, to see kind of the Quran and the Sunnah being put into action at a time yeah. that it was needed, Mashallah, yeah. may, may Allah bless you, sister, and especially what you've been through. I think you are something that it, it's truly a breath of fresh air that's happened this Allah week. Allah, and... Allah, Allah, well, I'm so humble for the, all these lovely comments. You know, I, Allah subhanAllah, I just, I, I just get so overwhelmed with everybody, you know. Alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, and, uh, I, just, I just say, Alhamdulillah, wa shukr, you know, I just like, this, this, is, this is my opportunity, my time. Allah has given me, Allah has given me this. Allah. This, this kind of platform to sort of show Islam what Islam is really about. And also what's so, profound is you were mentioning all the hardships that you've gone through in the past. But at yeah. that moment in time, we don't know what the future holds just if we're patient. And look, mashallah, yeah. how Allah's honored you because of your patience and, you know, because you used your hardship to remove someone else's hardship. 
and that requires a lot of selflessness. I know, I know. Sorry, I'm, I'm just a bit emotional. <laughs> Allah. Oh. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, you know. I, I, also, I have to be an example for my kids, you know. My kids, that I'm their role model. They, see, they only see me and my husband. So, you know, we have to show them how, how it is to be a proper Muslim, you know, how it is to be a proper citizen. Sister, wallahi, because I make videos as well about current affairs and what's, what's going so, on, to Allah, 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 Allah give you the Allah give you the strength to do that Allah. I'm, 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 I've got your full support. I'm, I'll, I'll, whatever you want me to do, I don't mind doing. It. <laughs> No, Jazakallah. I, it's just that honestly, with the news that I see, I'm constantly aware of, you know, this wasn't mentioned, the person was Muslim, but in this bit of news, Wallahi, it just seems like, you know, that the sincerity is, uh, is oozing through. Well, SubhanAllah, I think Allah Subhanahu sent a taqeen upon me because I'm, I'm a very, I'm a very, how do you say, I'm a very fiery kind of character. <laughs> so I have a very fiery character, yeah, and if, and if I see injustice, I do actually get quite upset mm. but subhanallah Allah sent like a sakina on me that day Allah. <laughs> I, I, I don't i don't i don't know how he did it but subhanallah he did it and he gave me a sakina he gave me the patience and subhanallah Allah oh. always mentions sabr in the quran yani, so Allah. Yeah, I mean, we were even looking at your body language as well, mashallah, the way you were kind of calm, I mean, your your facial expression, the way you were kind of communicating with him. Uh, so, yeah, it was definitely evident. It was definitely evident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 he actually, when the video was shot, he actually shot the tele he, he actually came up to me and goes to me, what about your people? What about, what about okay, your people, where, look where we are. We are in the public transport. Mm. What are you going on about? And it was scary. <laughs> well, like, it was very tall and very <laughs> overpowering. Sister, have you done self-defense? Um, well, my brother used to do kung fu, so he used to teach me. Oh, and nice. when I was yeah, when my when my um when I was in school, I had to really I had a lot of self-defense. I had to self-defend myself physically. Because it was it was yeah, subhanAllah. I mean, my dad took me out of the public school and put me into King Fahad Academy. I don't know if you know it in in London. I've heard so of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, he put me there because of, because, of, well, because of my safety, really. That's how bad it was, to be honest. It was really, it was quite... So I, I had to learn, I had to learn self-defense at a very young age. Mm. But I, I'd never, ever, I would never, ever, like, uh, like, go uh, hit somebody just for the fact. I would, I would yeah. self-defend myself. Exactly, not to provoke I would never them, go, yeah. I would never, I would never start anything. Mm. If you follow any of my account, I don't like putting pictures of myself up on myself. I don't mm. like to be in the limelight. I'm not a very social media person. I do look at, I like to go on there just to look at, you know, Islamic videos. Just to look something. at like Smile to Jannah and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't really heard of you, to be honest. That really sounds really God bad. damn it. <laughs> I will, I will, I will start following you now, inshallah. <laughs> Jazakallah, sister. Wallahi, it was such a breath of, breath of fresh air speaking to you, hearing about your experience. And wallahi, Thank the you stuff... Thank you very much. Jazakallah khair for calling me. You know, I like, I, I wanna, I like I, even when, when I first... I had uh, someone asking me for a statement, I gave it to Adam Feed. I said, let me <laughs> give the, the Muslim media the yeah. opportunity first before i do anything before i give it to anybody else you know? alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and ilm feed sister that that went viral after that i think even the sun yeah. and the daily yeah. mail quoted ilm feed as well so that was brilliant mashallah it's the coward that always go into the women and children that's the first that's the first thing but if you stand what's the panel if you do stand up to them they do get scared they do actually he sort of like when i when he saw that i was quite firm yeah he, he sort of backed off yeah and he was like okay you know this do you know what I mean? But you have to be, mm. subhanAllah, you have to be firm. I, I did encourage people on the, on the, when I went live onto Radio BBC, I encouraged people to talk up. But I also said, you know, be wary because some people are crazy, you know, mm. all this knife crime, all this, 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 there's a lot of people getting That's killed. That's true and, as well. So sister, what, what if, let's just say worst case scenario, if, if you were stabbed at doing what you were doing, would you have any regrets? No. Because that's that's what Allah subhanahu wa taala written for me. That's this is this is the creed of Allah. We have to believe in the and the qada Allahu qada. Yani this is what Allah subhanahu wa taala. It's one of the six pillars of iman. It says that you have to believe in what's happened to you, whether Allah. it's a good or a bad thing. And if if I did get let's say stabbed or something like that, mm. then at the end of the day, this is what Allah's written for me, and that's my test in this world. Do you understand? Wow. Sister Wallahi, the more I speak to you, the more you're just <laughs> blowing my mind because people have to hear, I mean, this aspect. I mean, mashallah, the, the other interviews, they will, you know, focus on the, the kind of uh, the, the factual element, but the, the spirituality that kind of drove you and that gave you the strength. Is, I is, did, uh, yeah, I did yeah. say it. I did say it. I did try to get it in there because obviously the questions are very straightforward, yeah. and they gave me like they were like just talk about the facts, don't talk about anything else. I'm like, no, no, I'm, I have to, I have to bring <laughs> Islam into it because at the end of the day, that's what made me talk up. Mm. 
that's what made me talk up at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, subhanAllah. Oh, they said that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's mad. Yeah, that's Oh, my word. Allah, of course, that may Allah protect you, may Allah bless you, and may Allah increase you. Thank you. Your du'as don't forget. That's that's the main thing. That's that's, that's what keeps us going. Subhanallah, du'as. And may Allah subhanahu wa taala bless you and make your 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 videos really uh, something that will reach thousands and millions of people. Yarab. Amen. And if you need anything. Any kind of support, any kind of, um, I don't have any problem. <laughs> Jazakallah, sister. Jazakallah, that, that means a lot. That means a lot. Wuyah, wuyah. Amin, amin. Sister, have a lovely, lovely day. And let me know Thank also you. if you need any of my support or anything from me. And smile to Jannah, guys. And, 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 so, and same to you, brother. If you need anything, just let me know. Wuyah, wuyah. May Allah bless you, sister. Jazakallah khair. Wuyah, wuyah. Wa alaikum as-salam wa rahmatullah.